Hi, I'm Christopher Brooks with Diligent Plans. You know, I, I wanted to just take some time to talk to you, uh, to share a quick story with you about how leaders can stay emotionally and mentally healthy. Because sometimes, you know, we've spent so much time with the business or with whatever it is that we are responsible for, a lot of times we forget uh, about taking care of ourselves. We're, you know, we focus a lot of time on the people that are working for us and with us, uh, our partners and what we're doing and where we're going and all these different strategies, right? But uh, sometimes we forget that we have to take care of ourselves. And here's what I wanna share with you. As I'm taking this next step in my career, I've had to learn, first of all, that I have to be honest with myself, I like to stay busy. I don't like to be still. I really don't like taking, you know, uh, long breaks in between uh, different things that I'm doing, projects. Uh, but what I've learned is that when I do have those times, sometimes it makes me go through some emotional uh, trauma. I go through some all these scenarios of why I'm not getting these uh, these contracts or why I'm not getting this gig to do this particular thing, right? And it makes me begin to go into a place where it's really not healthy for me uh, mentally or emotionally. And the sad part is a lot of times it's my family, it's my friends, it's my team, it's the people that are closest to me that ends up uh, going through this experience with me. And there's nothing productive that happens when I'm so focused on why uh, there's really nothing happening and why things aren't really moving the way that maybe I would like for them to move. But here's what I've come to learn and I want to share with you. In the times when I'm between gigs and things aren't really uh, moving as fast or as consistently as I would like, I deliberately seek out others that I'm connected with that are doing things, whether it's an independent movie, whether it is uh, you know, another, uh, another gig that they are a part of or something that they are putting on uh, an exhibit, anything. And I connect with them, I partner with them and I support and try to help assist them in fulfilling their vision. Here's the, here's the point about that. While I am busy helping to see them succeed and why I'm pushing and promoting their progress, guess what I'm not doing? I'm not spending a bunch of time worried about why I'm not as busy as I would like to be on my stuff. I've come to learn that when you can be just as invested in another person's dream, it's just a matter of time before your dream comes to fruition. So in those times when it may seem kind of quiet, times where it may seem like things aren't quite moving the way you want. There's always somebody that is praying and hoping for a little, bit of, a little bit of help, and you can be that solution for them. And while you're doing that, you're helping them and you're pushing them and promoting their progress. I promise you, your time will come when it's time for your vision to come to life. I'm Christopher Brooks with Diligent Plans. Thank you.